Hi everyone, welcome to Thursdays on She's the CEO. My name is Brooke Miller, founder of Soapbox Therapy. And this week we're talking about the business books that we have read that have inspired us in our starting our businesses. And I have to say, to be quite honest with you, I have never really been drawn to business books. Um, for some reason, they just they just haven't excited me <laughs> very much. And I'm really the kind of person that when I read about how to do something right or how to do something wrong, it usually rubs me the wrong way, to be quite honest with you. I, I feel like everyone's so different. And so I really tend to um, read books that are more about people's experiences and people's stories. Um, but that being said, there was, one, there was one business book that I read cover to cover and loved and it was so unbelievably useful for me. And I actually don't even have it today because I lend it out all the time. Um, and it is by Marcus Buckingham. And it's called Go Put Your Strength to Work. And I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it really takes you through a process of figuring out the difference between your job and your hobbies. And um, it, helps, it helps me personally to find a way to... Identify those moments when you're participating in something that you love and figuring out how to, or if it is appropriate to, shift it into a career. So really was that book, um, and I read it because it's by Marcus Buckingham, and um, I really think he's such a wonderful person. So I read it trusting in him and it being the first business book that I actually was willing to um, really put my head into. And it really helped me in a moment... Um, figure out that, for example, there was a time that I was realizing that I was spending way more time emailing and talking with friends about their relationship issues than I was spending doing anything else. And each time I got off the phone or sent an email, I felt deeply invigorated and energetic and so happy. And it was that book that helped me realize that and helped me notice that day after day I was doing that and that I could turn it into a business. Um, which started my advice column. So, so um, Go Put Your Strengths to Work by Marcus Buckingham is my one and only business book suggestion that I feel like everyone should read. Um, in addition to that book, I, as you know, a self-esteem expert and relationship counselor, love talking and reading about people's stories. Um, so I am a memoir junkie. And so I just brought one of them to show you guys. Um, Portrait of a Young Addict um, by Bill Clegg. And this book is unbelievable. I read it in one sitting. It was one of those one of those sittings where I, I just had no idea how much time had passed and I was done with the book. Unbelievable. Um, I love books like this. I love memoirs about how people connect um, their lives. They connect their past with their present, they connect their history with their behaviors, and it really just continues to inspire me in my work. In addition to this, I love quotes. Um, sometimes reading an entire book, um, especially one about business or um, about psychology in addition, is just really heavy. It's a lot to digest. So I like reading bits and pieces of books throughout a period of time, I'm usually reading a few different books at the same time in order to be able to more easily digest everything and really integrate all of it. So I love this little tiny book. I bought it at Starbucks years ago. Um, it's called The Traveler and it's about um, wasting time um, and utilizing your time and not trying to make everything perfect in your life. And it's just a really inspiring story that actually inspired me in my business and in what I do and what I love. Um, also, this is kind of funny because therapists do not go to business school. So a 101 things I learned in business school. Um, this is just chock full of a ton of quotes that I just think are great and little mantras that um, not having gone to business school are really, really helpful for me. Um, the last one, I have to agree, a hundred million percent with Lori um, and The Artist's Way. Unbelievable. It is like taking the best class you've ever taken in your life. Um, and it releases creativity like nothing I've ever experienced in my life. And it really expresses what creativity is, that 
that it's not just being able to draw or paint or something like that. It's also um, just releasing your ideas and as a writer, you know, your words and things like that. It's, it's really unbelievable for any type of business that you have. You do not have to be in the, you know, you don't have to see yourself as, as a creative business person. Um, your products don't have to be in that realm in order to love this book. So highly, highly recommend the artist way. I think it's life changing. So those are my main books in addition to <laughs> the insane library of psychology books I have, but those are very specific to my own world and my own business. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Happy reading. Bye.